everybody we are back here today with another video this week our video here is going to i guess we'll probably have more than one anyways this <laughs> we'll do more than one video this week i don't know why i said it that way but i said it that way today's video is going to be a double diamond hotspot. Now, if you aren't in the Angler official Discord to see these hotspots come in, then these videos are for you. Um, this spot I'm at right here, there's a couple like this, but this spot is what I call a double diamond hotspot, and it's where you can get a diamond of two species, and sometimes even with the same bait. So this spot in particular is a spot where you can get diamond pike, just like this and diamond eel got ourselves a silver pike for our first of the day and i'll show it on the map here in a second but this spot right here you can get diamond pike and diamond eel both pike and eel like minnows so that's what i'm using right now i'm using the devil's advocate here pure champion I got a size three hook and minnow on, and I throw that down and I can get a little bit of both. Now, here's the thing with this spot with the eel and the pike. Check this out. Eel, nighttime, boom, boom, boom. Pike, daytime fish. There's not a lot of fish on the Spain reserve that are strictly daytime and strictly nighttime. Um, but this is one of them. So you can fish this spot morning, noon, and night, and you're gonna have a potential to get a diamond here, one of those two species. So it's happened quite a bit um, that we've seen in the community. So I wanted to show this spot off and get this information out to folks because it is a good spot. Every time I come here, I min at least at minimum get a gold of one of the two. So we're gonna keep fishing here and see what we can get. If not, I gotta have um, some footage from when I did get a gold eel here the other night that I'll roll for you all here but this is a great spot again eels and northern pike can both be caught here now you can get them in the day you can get eels in the day you can get pike at night it's just less common so that is something to remember and then also with diamond hot spots the other thing is the pike coming <sighs> the other thing to remember with diamond hot spots is there is still an element of randomness I can fish spots all for hours and get almost nothing. Yep, that's a Xander. We get almost nothing. And then somebody else can be fishing right next to me and pull out gold and diamonds. It, it is a little bit random, but whenever somebody, especially like the creators or you see in the Discord community, calls something a hot spot, it really is just somewhere that has a higher chance of producing large fish, golds and diamonds. It's not necessarily that you are going to be guaranteed a diamond. So that is something else to remember with these hot spots. But I'll go ahead and keep casting this out here and see what we can get. You know? Wow. And then it was like, oh my gosh, there's no way. Because it did not look like a uh, level three from that, from that far away. Yeah, for sure. Is that a little pike going for this freaking minnow? That's the sound I want to hear when I enter a call. Little freaking pike. Freaking pike, Come dude. on. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, why wouldn't your server be full? Let's be honest. Hey, there's Jivers. Uh, I'm casting more towards Divers. Tony. Oh, yeah, he got an albino whitetail super rare, Tony. It was thick, dude. It was my highest scoring super rare whitetail ever. It's I still can't get one above basket rack, pretty though. Pretty nice, pretty. It was just it was a wonky, twisted 263 basket rack albino. Just crazy. Crazy. A wonky. Oh, 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 oh. There was a dingle dongle dangle. Nothing crazy, though. I also did a phenomenal impression of the haters calling me a cheater after. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if you stayed long enough for that part, bro, bro. Gold deal, 9.18. 
Hey, wow, what? that's a holy crap! That's a big gold. That's eel. a big eel. It's not my biggest. I've got a, I got a bigger slithery Dude. sucker. Did, All have you seen right, it? so just to cover this again, we are the location here. Here is your starting out post. We are up here. If you scroll in up here, you're gonna see basically deep water, and you're gonna see this little really shallower part here. That's where we're fishing right now, and that's basically in this area seems to be the most common but people have been getting them kind of even in a wider area around here so don't be afraid to cast around for the diamond uh, eels and the diamond pike you know again for the eels minnow is probably one of your best bets you know for the pike they they do like lures if you go in here minnows you know their top bait so that's why I've been using minnow, because you can even use the same bait. But you could also just switch between, you know, lure fishing with, you know, a bait caster and and uh, uh, float fishing with, you know, a spinning setup or something like that. So you could flip back and forth and do both if you wanted to. But I just have this on for right now. So that's what we've got going on. And I'll tell you, it's a good... Um, it's a good little spot to check out for sure. If you're not sure where you want to fish, not sure what you want to fish for, this is a good spot to get a little bit of both and uh, maybe challenge yourself, you know, a little bit. Get Challenge yourself to get a daytime diamond eel from this spot or a nighttime diamond pike from this spot. Um, those are a lot, to, a lot harder to get whenever those fish have, you know, a specific time of day that they're more active. To get a diamond in the opposite time of day that they're supposed to be active, that's that's a little bit harder and if you've been playing for a while and you want to challenge uh that's something that me and my friends have been trying to do is you know see if we can get a diamond of a fish that is potentially you know not as active in the daytime and then try to get it in the daytime so that's just something fun that we do uh something for you all to check out as well and i appreciate you all for hanging out and checking this video out if you like these double diamond hotspots, there's a couple more species that we can do that with. And we got a little something here right right at the end. Oh, it's taking line. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's taking line. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, ooh. It's a pike. Definitely a pike. Is this a gold? Is this a gold? What do we got? Gold, 18.26 pounds in the outro, baby. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. All right, folks. Again, I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. This goes to show there's big fish here. Um, if you want to see more videos of the, of the double diamond hotspot locations, let me know. Leave it. Leave a like. Leave a comment. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments. Um, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed with all the questions in the comments. So please be patient if I don't answer your question. I'm trying to, trying to get to everything. I've got like probably 400 comments it feels like that I haven't been able to get to yet. So I apologize for that, but I'm trying. Um, otherwise, I appreciate it. Thank you all for hanging out and we'll see you in the next video. Catch you in the next video.